sometimes it can be a little confusing to determine discrete versus continuous variables. So the way to think of a continuous variable is could you, if you had a more accurate measuring tool, get another decimal place out of it. So shoe size is an example of discrete. I can have a 7, I can have a 7.5, I cannot have it a 7.52. Like I, I can't measure my shoe size to be another decimal place. Now if I'm pouring coffee and I have a 12 ounce cup, it is probably not to the atomic level 12 ounces. There's going to be a little variation there. So if I were to measure it, I'm like, you know, with my measuring cup, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's 12 ounces. That's really as accurate as my measuring cup could be. But if I had maybe a graduated cylinder, I could say this is 12.2 milliliters or ounces of, uh, of coffee. And if I had an even more accurate uh, measuring cup that could do to the hundredth place, like I could, in theory, measure exactly how much coffee I have in that coffee cup to the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, infinitely many decimals if I just had a tool that was had the ability to measure that accurately, that's continuous variable. I can continue being more accurate in my measurement depending on the uh, limitations of the tool that I'm using to measure. So discrete, there are very fixed uh, choices uh, that you could measure it on, for it, like the shoe size. And then continuous, if that only the measuring tool could be more accurate, I could get another decimal place of accuracy um, onto my measurement. So that's my quick explanation.